I shot all of my video uh, using a cell phone holder on uh, mounted onto just a standard petrographic microscope. This is one of our student microscopes. It's not a particularly great scope, but I wanted to use that because that's what the students are actually going to see. So the stage isn't always perfectly centered and the light isn't always perfectly balanced and you know, but that's what we all have to put up with. So that's what I wanted to shoot the videos with. This turned out to be the key to making this all work relatively easily. This is a Gosky universal cell phone adapter mount and it can be used on microscopes and binoculars and I think maybe even uh, certain spotting scopes and telescopes. It takes a little monkeying around. You got to get the, the everything centered uh, properly. But once it's set up for your cell phone, then it's pretty easy to um, to come back to the same setup over and over and uh, and shoot videos pretty consistently. So I have the videos on my phone. They get uploaded to the cloud. I go to the cloud. I download them onto my computer, and then I uh, put them into some video processing software. There's lots of different options for that. I use Camtasia, which is probably overkill, um, but I do like it, and I'll show you how that works next. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I load in the different videos that I want to have. These happen to be for chlorotoid, and then I place them in order uh, that, that I want to present them. I select everything and I get rid of any kind of uh, audio that might have been recorded with the video on my cell phone. Okay. So I've done that. Um, now what I do is uh, Let's see, I go to visual effects. I want all of the videos to be only 30 seconds long. So I drag this clip speed down on here. I change this to 30 seconds. That makes them all the same length. And then I drag them together so that they are um, all together. Okay, and so now I have a clip that should be about two and a half minutes long, two and a half minutes long, perfect. Now, there can be um, some difficulties with my phone, um, or really with any microscope, with the color balance. And so there are a couple possibilities. One is that if it's not doing the blue filter correctly, I created a blue filter. And so I'll show you what that looks like if I drag this blue filter onto here then it brightens everything up. You can see that's, the, that's when it's not on there, that's when it's on there, and that actually looks pretty close. I think that's maybe a little too intense. I'm gonna cut that down to 15% um, here. That looks more natural, and then I just have to go through and check that with all of them, and probably since these are all shot on the same day, they're gonna need a similar kind of um, color balance. Sometimes the phone will make things gray, and, um, and then what you want to do is, um, instead of using my blue filter, use color adjustment. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Let me, let me finish putting these on. Blue filter, 15%. Uh, ooh, that one is really yellow. That's much better. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, and so if I thought this one was too dark, I could grab color adjustment, pull that on there, and now with color adjustment, um, it automatically has these settings. I have no idea why. Um, this is no color adjustment, and if you want to increase the brightness, then you can just increase it a little bit. If you want to increase the contrast, you can increase the contrast, and, and so on. In this case, I don't think it's really worth it, um, but there have been some instances where um, I wanted to sort of brighten things up a little bit because the camera automatically tried to tone things down, you know, when, when quartz, is, it tries to make quartz look gray. Uh, let's see, uh, what else do I have to do? I have to resize all of these, okay, so I don't need any of this extra material out here, and so I go through and resize, or not resize, crop, each of these and um, so once I'm done with that 
then I can go in and resize them. That's a separate thing to do. And so then what I have done is I've made all of these a standard size. It's 1,500 pixels by 1,500 pixels. Um, and so I just zoom out a little bit. And what I, what the, one of the nice things about Camtasia is that you can resize things just by you know, dragging. Um, but it will automatically um, center. I, those little yellow lines are telling me that I am um, going to be uh, centered with uh, each of these images. So then the only other thing I have to do is um, add some labels. And um, so I just have made up some fairly standard labels and I edit them according to what minerals are uh, in the thin section. Here, for example, it would be chlorotoid and biotite and muscovite and quartz. So I'll just add those in. And then um, what else do? Oh, and then I just have to do voice narration on top of that. And so that would be uh, voice narration right here. And so I add that instead of trying to narrate while I'm shooting the video on the microscope, I actually put in the voice narration um, in Camtasia as a, as a whole separate line. Right, so that's how I do it. Not a big deal, yeah, it goes pretty quick. Um, I've, I'm almost done now with this chlorotoid one and that just took a few minutes.